So, hello fellow coin collectors, how you going today? This is Glenn, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showcasing the Ford coin set. So before I had the Holden coin set, now I have the Ford coin set. And it comes in, well this is the top end of the motor, and it is, well, comes in this beautiful tin, as you can see, as a design specifics of a car. That's probably a, oh, I don't know what car that is. Ford Falcon, we'll find out in a minute. So here is the back. Gives you some information about what they represent. So this is the Ford Racing Team. And, well, Fords and Holdens are pretty iconic for Australia, especially the Ford Falcon and the Holden Commodore. So let's have a look inside and have a look at each of these coins individually so i'll turn it around again so this is the front and that's the inside of that tin it's quite nice and this is actually the fourth tin set the first one was a holden red holden set the second one was a blue ford and this year they issued two consecutive ones the uh holden one was uh black and this one's blue so First coin we have is a Ford Falcon. So the Ford Falcon is an Australian car. Even though Ford is a, an American company, uh, these cars are iconic for Australia. So 1967, you don't really see these much anymore. So here's the inside information. And here's the car on the side. Looks quite nice actually. And here is the coin. Okay. So as you can see, this one is not coloured, it is just the coin by itself, 1967, XR Falcon GT, beautiful. And if we have a look at the back, there's a picture of the actual car. God, this camera doesn't focus, picture of this car. And it has uh, the reverse of the Queen Elizabeth. Now that one has a mintage of 10,000, as it says here. Has pretty much specifications of a normal 50 cent. So that is a low mint coin, 10,000. The second ones, all the rest of these coins are coloured. They have a mintage of, uh, let's have a look on the back. 30,000 coins. Beautiful. So this is the actual racing car. Here's the front, if we open up, we have specifications, and then we have the car itself. And as you can see, the driver of the car was Alan Moffat, so it is, and it's also on the car itself. It has different uh, sponsors of the car, and let's have a look at the actual coin. So these are actually quite good, as you can see, beautiful. Let's have a look at the rest of the coin cards. So the next one is 1971. This is another Falcon. And if we open it up, we have the car there itself. This is a more hotted up version. Here's specifications of the actual car. And let's have a look at the coin. So here is the actual coin itself, as you can see. Looks quite good detail, if you ask me. Some of these uh, pictures of cars are actually not as good, but this one is quite good. So let's have a look at the next coin card. So this is the cover. This is the inside information. Here I have the back of the card. So this is the actual car itself from on the side. As you can see, the exhaust are down the bottom. And this is the actual coin itself. Looks good. This one is not as good as the previous one. It looks a, just a little bit weird the way the car is set up. Okay, and then we have the next one. It's another Falcon, 1981. It looks like all these are Falcons, but we'll see. And this one looks more like a modern version of a car. So here is the actual back of the coin cover. Not bad, blue. Here are the specifications of the uh, actual car. So here's the track. So these are all 
40, ooh, Bathurst Racetrack, some Bathurst, and the rest is just about the car itself. Okay, so here it is the car, driven by Dick Johnson and John French. So let's have a look at the coin. So here is the actual coin. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I like it. I like how they get the micro print that you can see in the actual car. So they've actually gotten better with their detail on printing on coins, which in the future will only get better because they they will adapt new technologies and uh, they will modify existing technologies to um suit their purpose. Okay, so here we have the next one. Oh look, it's not a Ford Falcon, it's a Ford Sierra, 1989. And uh, there's two shells on the front to represent that com company shell. Here is the reverse of the cover. This is the red. Yeah, maybe they should have left that as a colour. It would have looked better. So here is the inside car specifications. Weight, 1.12 tonne. 2 liter engine, 470 kilowatt power. And here is the actual car. Yeah, not as bad. Not bad. Still the first one was better. But I think the insurance in 19... Well, what date is it? 1967 cars is probably quite expensive. Okay, so here is the actual card itself. The coin on the card. This one looks alright. Maybe down the bottom, underneath the car, they could have actually put a road, made it a bit colour. But still, I like it. It's not good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good on you, Royal Australian Mint. And here, I have the last one. They've gone back to Ford Falcons. So, as you can see, the Ford Falcon has actually evolved quite a bit. It's actually really different from the first one to the or, well, one that was 10 years ago. But still, they can use whatever names they want on their cars. So here is the reverse. This is pretty much the modern cars that you'll see on the racetracks. And they should be more powerful than the first one. And here is the specification. So this one's 460 kilowatt engine, 5 litre. And the first one was our 4.7 litre, 180 kilowatts. So obviously the engines have got more efficient. Looks like three times more efficient than what they are now. And, well, the car weight is pretty much the same. Everything else is pretty much the same. Except this one had six gears. The first one had four gears. And, well, the coloration has gotten a lot better on these coins. And on the car as well. A lot of advertisement. A lot more people getting involved. On the first one, not much advertisement. Also, looks more, more or less distracting itself. So you're focusing on the car and not the actual advertisement. So let's look at the coin. So here is the actual coin. I like it. See, the different colours make the actual printing actually a lot harder. So all the small lettering, all the different changes of the colours on the car... It's a lot harder to do, so congratulations to the Mint for making a, a well-printed car on a coin. This is nice, not bad. Even though I'm not into car racing myself, these coins are pretty good. So if you haven't actually got one, you can either buy it off eBay, go to a coin store, buy it online at a coin store, or you can still buy them from the Mint. You can't actually get these tins from the Mint anymore. They all sold out. Um, you can't even get them from coin shops anymore. They all sold out. The only place you can get them is at eBay. Unless a coin shop actually buy, bought it again and uh, is reselling them themselves. So, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like racing cars, then you should get these coins. They're awesome. And have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so I can show you more excellent coin collecting stuff. Listen to the train going past. I hope you can't hear it. Very noisy. Okay, bye bye.